All I have to say to you guys is I'm very proud of all of you. You have exceeded my expectations. And uh, when we get into the arena, everybody fights and no one quits. Welcome back, everybody, to Ark Survival Ascendant. I'm an old guy. Gaming named in this episode. The plan is for us to go hit uh, the Lava Cave. I need some more artifact of the Massive. Uh, we're going to take our Komodo Dragons, um, our Megalanias, uh, with us to do that. Um, and after that, depending upon how our time goes, um, we might attempt Alpha Broodmother at the end of this episode. Um, we'll see how it goes. Uh, it just depends upon how long, you know, of course, it takes us in the cave. And we have to run a couple of uh, errands, too, along the way. So before we uh, leave for that, um, I want to make a correction. Uh, in the last episode, when right before we did Alpha uh, Megapithecus, I, I was having a rough time, <laughs> you guys, in that episode. So just, you know, have a little grace. But I... I, I thought that I had brought the art of uh, the devourer and the uh, whatever the hell the other one was out there. And then when I came back and looked, I realized that I had not. And so what I did is if you were watching that episode, I spawned in devourer and I spawned in brood. I think it was. Uh, yeah, because that's what we needed to, to do alpha megapithecus. And so, what I'm going to do is freeze, uh, okay, and unfreeze, and we are going to drop that on the ground and that on the ground, because I'm not going to give myself free artifacts. Okay, so, yeah, I had just, uh, what I had done is I had taken the, the trophies, the tribute stuff out, but I guess apparently I had not taken the artifacts out. So, um... So we gave those up, and now we're now the score is even. Um, so what we're going to do is we're going to make two stops along the way to the Lava Cave. Uh, we're going to stop off at the Green Obby, and I'm going to uh, drop off the Tribute, as well as Artifact to the Hunter and Clever. And um, I, I ran both of these caves earlier this morning just to get a few more of those uh, with my Otter. I didn't show that on camera because, um, you know, I've already we've already done some episodes and those are the two easiest caves anyway. So, uh, yeah, I just didn't show that on camera. Um, and, yeah, so I think we're ready to go. I am loaded for bear, man. Uh, we got two shotguns, a total of 551 uh, shotgun rounds. I've got a little over 1,000 assault rifle rounds. We got over 100 uh, sniper rounds and 1,700 pistol rounds. <laughs> so uh, we're loaded for bear, man, I'll tell you what. Now, the last time I did the lava cave with my megalanias uh well i did it with one unimprinted and not completely leveled megalania and it was uh, we got through it but it was it was a little tough but now we have uh two fully imprinted um and very high level megalanias uh each of them have 10,000 health this one has 541 and this one has 541 um so these are uh, megalanias that i bred and fully imprinted uh, the reason they're bloody is because they've, they've been in cryo, so I pulled them out, and they had a whole bunch of points. So we're going to also heal them up when we get to the Green Obby uh, with our pig that we have there. And then we're going to stop by uh, the Upper South Cave and pick up the cats that I have over there and bring those with us to... Oh, you got stuff in your inventory, yo. Okay, I need to get that out of there because... We don't have a, a lot of weight on this bird. In fact, speaking of which, let's put this point into weight. And as you can see, too, I switched the platform over to thatch also to also reduce the weight. And, you know, hopefully hopefully nothing takes any major damage there. All right, let me get this stuff put away, and then we will proceed. Yeah, so it'll be interesting to uh, see how we fare with Alpha Broodmother. I'm, um, I'm feeling reasonably confident that we can pull it off but i don't know the the alpha brood mother is a, is has been buffed in arc ascendant she's a little tougher to kill than she was in evolved 
Um, so yeah, you know, we'll we'll have to see, but I think it's worth a shot. If we can pull it off, it unlocks all of the Ingrams from except for the Alpha Dragon Ingrams. Um, so it'll get us into some more tech. Well, no, that's not true. We won't have the Beta Dragon Ingrams either. I don't know. I wonder if it would be worth us worth it for us to try to do Beta Dragon um, for that reason. Um, and, and I even think it's possible that my um, Fairy Army could handle Alpha Dragon, but my Uteranus cannot. I, I got to raise a Uteranus with a lot more health. Uh, because when we did Gamma Dragon, you know, it took a few hits from the flames and it was, I don't know, it was down about 20% health by the end of that fight. And um, yeah, so it's just, it's very, very difficult to avoid the fire breath on the UD and keep, you know, while you're trying to keep your critters buffed. So, um, something to think about. I don't know, but that that's going to be, of course, for another day. Right now, our focus is Alpha Broodmother. And if we can get her knocked out, then that gives us all of her beta and alpha tech ingrams. Um, and then, you know, my plan is to continue farming alpha megapithecus just for the element. And until they fix the bug, I'm going to have to just spawn it in each time after we defeat it. Um, which sucks, but hopefully they'll get that fixed soon. But any hoozle. We'll stop here real quick, put this, uh, drop off this tribute in the two of the three artifacts, um, and get the Megalanius healed up, and then we'll go grab the cats. All of the fairies are ready to go. I have, uh, we're going to once again give them each 10 veggie cakes, which I have sitting in a refrigerator over here. I, I did install a, a generator in a fridge over here because, um, you know, that way the veggie cakes don't spoil so fast because they're... They're pretty expensive to make when you have to make them in quantity. I even added some more um, taps, quite a few more taps, in fact, on uh, some redwoods because sap is kind of the holding or, or the choke point on that. All right, so let's go to here. And we're putting in the four tribute items and the two um, artifacts. They're in that case. I put them in there. You guys saw me do it. <laughs> so, so we don't have any have some of the trouble we had yesterday. Oh, I also uh, was reminded of, of something, and that is that I should be putting cooked meat in the pig and not raw meat because the cooked meat is better for them to regenerate their food more quickly. Um, so at some point, we're going to have to throw... A metric crap ton of meat into the the grill for that purpose um but for now yeah i, I don't want to take the time to do that at the moment so yeah let's just get these megalanias healed up we'll go grab the cats and then we'll head to the lava cave get ourselves a couple at least two artifact of the massives i'd like to um you know i even after we're finished running the bosses that we're not going to run more than once. I still want to have at least one of the artifacts for the trophy room, if not more. So that's the uh, reason. And I do have, I actually do have one massive right now, but it's, it's in the trophy display. Uh, and I did want to run this cave with the much improved Megalanias and do that on camera for you guys. So I figured, well, let's just do that because we have a need for more of those artifacts anyway. So we'll kind of kill two birds with one stone here. Okay, that should get them healed up. One thing we could do is, do I have a campfire? We can make a campfire real quick and just throw a bunch of meat in there to start cooking. Put that down there. Okay, we'll get that stuff cooking up. There's all of our veggie cakes waiting for us to put them. You know, it's ridiculous how heavy these things are. It's like, that is what I like to call um, an artificially imposed restriction. <laughs> I don't think wild cards ever gone to the bakery and ordered a dozen cupcakes. They're not that heavy. Uh, so it's really stupid that they're that heavy. 
um, if you ask me. But that's the way it works. Okay. I'm, tr I'm going to try and be more positive in this episode, man. <laughs> it's going to be a good episode. We're going to have a good time, have fun. And I'm going to keep my wild card bitching uh, to a minimum. I'm not going to necessarily not bitch at all, but we'll keep it to a minimum. Uh, anyway, okay, so let's head over to the upper south cave and get our cats. Okay. Let's get our cats loaded up here. Um, my plan is just to... Mm, yeah, I think I'm just going to take these, take them back to the base because don't really need need to use them to run the caves now that we have the ramp in the in this cave here um, I'll, I'm just gonna use the berry because berries just too good you know um, the cats are are like I've said before you know they're great at combat but their pathing is pretty bad and uh, I just don't want to have to try and manage a bunch of creatures in these jank caves. I was just uh, thinking about I'm um, maybe picking up that trough and taking it over to the lava cave because I think I'm going to leave the Komodos there. Yeah, why don't we do that? Because that's really why I have them is for that cave specifically. Though, you know, they probably would do pretty well in the Devourer cave too. But that cave is best used for Thylakaleo. And also, it's a cave we're going to have to run regularly if we're going to farm Alpha Mega. So what I might end up doing is taking a pair of Thylos over there, making a little spot for them, you know, past the choke point, And then keeping them there all the time, too. Okay. Um, let's go ahead and see which, what my heading is here. We want to go to here. So, yeah, we're heading pretty much almost straight for it. Um, I'm not going to take the cats into the lava cave. Um, I'm just going to leave them out here to, to guard the, uh, outside to guard the quets. Uh, we're having that little jank thing that happens now. All right, well, I won't uh, torture you guys through this glitchiness, so I'll meet you over there. <coughs> All right, guys, we are here at the lava cave. All right, I'm going to put the trough down outside since I have a really small shed here and let's grab about half of that meat okay so everybody on neutral except for the bird we'll have green machine follow Megan and let's do this Yeah, you have to kind of step. I was going to say, I've gotten them in here before. <laughs> oh, you got through on your own. Okay, good. In fact, I don't even really need to put these guys in the shed when we're done. I'll just leave them in the, right inside the entrance. The trough should be able to reach no problem. Okay, right around this corner here is where we'll get to our first enemies. And there they are. Okay, let's um, soup up here. And uh, you guys should be on neutral. 
Let's do this. I do have um, antidote too. This we will inevitably get mega rabies. Lots of bats in this cave. Okay, so we got bats to the left and bats to the right. Let's pull this group next. Just die already. All right. Got a point. Green machine, do you have a point? Nope, not yet. You're getting close, though. Well, we managed to do that whole thing with no mega rabies, so yay us. All right. Now, I'm not going to take... both of these guys over there because I don't want to run the risk of them falling in lava is um, yeah there's a lava pit over there too so I'm going to tell Green Machine to wait up there and let's pull this next group of bats over here and deal with them over here Actually, though, you know what? I just realized... Oh, shit. Okay, here. Um, I just realized the loot crate is actually... down below. It's usually up higher. But I, I don't know if we'll be able to get to it without, you know, aggroing those bats. Where are you guys going? He's uh, a little too close to the edge there. A little bastard. Okay. point and I want you to just to stay there for the moment I think we got all the badness away from over there let's go check this loot crate all right that's pretty decent equipment Take that. Don't give a shit about that. Alright, I'm gonna just take this Megalania down here for that other loot crate. Uh, because it's too it's too risky to try and traverse both of them, especially this little spot right here. And then we're gonna go back up and then proceed the 
the main what I call the main way. All right, I don't think anything will attack from over that way. And I'm just going to I'm just going to grapple here. All right, so I want you to stay passive for the moment. I think we're okay to grapple across. That's pretty nice. Something just fell in the lava. Um, here, let's... What the hell, man? What's up with stone? Why is there stone in a loot crate? I want my money back. Alright, so before we pull Green Machine down here, let's just... Oh, we got another loot crate over there, too. I don't... Yeah, I think I'm going to pull the mobs along here back around the corner, too, because we don't want to risk um, falling down in there. Now, can we get over to this one without aggroing anything? There's a few bats and spiders over that way. stuff all right let's uh get rid of them I want to make sure this entire little ledge here is clear before we bring the Megalania is over. Once we get to this spot, then we can we can fight reasonably safe. Okay. Nice and easy. Okay, I want to scout ahead. I think we can get over to here without any enemy issues. Let's um just double check. I haven't I haven't run this cave quite enough yet to be real familiar with it. I do know that we generally want to go down on the right hand side though and then I think we want to go down through here so we should be able to get the guys down to this corner actually with no resistance at all the guys and gals just have to be careful okay so here's what we're going to do we are going to do this. It's hard to see what the hell is going on, but... There we go. Uh, no, 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 no. Don't do that. Okay, shit. There's this bug thing where... 
they'll keep walking even after you tell them not to. Uh, yeah, see what? I, I'm so you got to hop off real quick, but that could be a bit precarious when you're hovering over lava like that. Another thing for a wild card to add to their list. That's all I'm going to say about it. I'm not going to complain any more than that. Um, you know what, too? Wait a second. No, I don't think we need to go this way. Or, wait, do we? I think... Okay, we could go down this way. Uh, but this is usually the way that I come back out. So, yeah, let's, um... Come on, get up on your, on the wall. There we go. Yeah, they're, the Megalanias are a little bit buggy. <laughs> okay, I think we can Leave Megan here and we'll go get Green Machine now. Okay, you stay put and stay passive. Right? You're good? Okay. All right, let's advance. Oh, that's right, we have this gap too. Okay, you stay there. No, don't start walking on your own. We have a bat up that way. Um, Kind of a yeah. Let's let's leave Megan up there because I don't want to risk it for a biscuit here. It's interesting that they do like a double attack. Like each claw has its own separate attack. I don't think they have a an, any kind of alternative attack. Okay, let's leave Green Machine here, and we'll go get Megan because I think we have one more pretty big fight. Is that dude in the mesh? Okay. Come on back. Okay, we got Omega Rabies. Uh, we also need to replenish our soups. And Megan got a point. What about Greeny? Not, not quite. Okay, let's go.
My goodness, that took a long time. <coughs> okay. We're getting pretty close to the artifact here. Um, all right, let's go kill these guys. All good. All right. Yeah, the thing about the Megalanes is they're not... They don't have real high DPS. So it takes a little longer to kill stuff. But they're they're very tough, though, of course. And um, can't beat them for being able to crawl up and along the ceiling, you know, in a place like this. Um, I think I'm going to leave Green Machine there. Yeah, you just stay put. I don't want to get him down too close to the lava. No, no, no. Get back over here. And stay passive for the moment, too. Got another point for Megan. That's good. Gonna see if I can try and clip one of its wings, which I did, but it wasn't enough to pull it out of the thingy there. There we go. You still don't have a point, huh? Um, I haven't been doing as much killing on the green machine. Okay, go back to passive. And we are here. So what I'm going to do is, why don't you come down here? But I want both of you to stay passive for now. All right, so. Grab the massive, and then we will go to our otter and stick that one in there. And we're going to hang out um, until a second one spawns. Sometimes there's a loot crate over here, but I don't see it, and I think it would be fairly obvious if it was there. Okay, so what I'm going to do is leave the area. Oh, no. Went to the wrong spot there. There are some enemies over that way. Um, let's use our pistol. There's one spot where you can pull a whole mess of them into the lava, and I think it's over in that area. But I don't know if we need to go that way. Just trying to determine if there's... Oh, yeah, there's a... The Lophosaur right there. Just looking to see if there's a loot crate over there or something. And I don't see one. Let's go back this way. 
Earth back back yet? Nope, not yet. Okay. Oh, it just came back. Nice. So I'll wait. All right, so I already have one more massive back at the base, I think. Yeah, I think it's on the pedestal, and we have two more. If we can successfully defeat Alpha Broodmother, then we won't need another one. So I think we're good to go. Um, what I'm going to do, though, is I think we want to turn around. But we are going to take an alternate route out that will lead us to another loot crate. Coming. So let's do it. Don't. I don't think we want to go that way. We're just going to fight, have to fight a mess of enemies if we do. There might be a loot crate over there, but I'm not uh, too concerned about it, to be honest with you. Um, the main reason I'm going to go this other route is because we avoid one of the lava gaps. And... Like I said, we get a chance to get a loot crate. So I think, yeah, I think we want to go this way. We'll have some more enemies to fight here. Yeah, no, no, no. Stay passive. Too close to that lava there. Let's carefully go through here. And then we have this bad kill. See the Dilophosaur. Okay. Yeah, so there isn't a, a loot crate down here. Um, there's also that explorer note, which we've... Or there's two explorer notes, which we've, we've already gotten. <coughs> okay. Let's head on out. I was going to say, are you kidding me? Don't be derping out. All right, stop. So yeah, coming this way just to let you avoid that that gap there. be really careful coming up through here. Looks like Megan's doing okay. Good. Okay, you stay put. Beautiful. Let's go. All right. We are at the entrance to the cave. And I'm just going to leave 
the lizards right inside the door and they can live here and they will be absolutely thrilled to do that because Megalinias love caves. So there you go. Um, you should be well within range of the, well, actually here, let's just make sure. Oh, wow. Okay. We'll back you up just a little bit. Well, does it show the trough icon though? It does. Uh, I don't think it is. Okay. So yeah, we'll back them up a little bit that way. Now they're in range. Yeah. Sometimes it's hard to see the trough icon when you got with the mate boost heart symbol too. All right, cool. Um, I don't think I have anything here I need to bring back, but let's just double check. Nope, not a thing. Not a daggone thing. All right, guys. Um, I'm going to go back to the base, get ready to go. Go to Green Obby, get all the veggie cakes loaded up, and then I'll bring you guys back, and we'll attempt Alpha Broodmother. See you in a bit. All right, guys, this is the moment. Can we defeat the Alpha Broodmother? Uh, some people say she's actually the hardest guardian now, even more than Alpha Dragon. I don't know about that, but... She's definitely harder than she was on Vault. Um, so I don't know. I don't know what this, to expect here. Um, let's grab all, all of our stuff, which is there. That's good. We might go in and be me mega victorious. We might go in and get completely wiped. It'll probably, hopefully, be something in between those two extremes. All right, we're going to do this really nice and slow because this damn terminal likes to eat stuff. Let's put in the tribute first. Okay. Artifact of the massive. Artifact of the hunter. And clever. Nice. Okay. So it took it all. Um. All right. Are we ready for this, gang? All I have to say to you guys is I'm very proud of all of you. You have exceeded my expectations. And uh, when we get into the arena, everybody fights and no one quits. Okay. <laughs> we had to give him a little bit of a pep talk there. Um, let's go ahead and eat our soups now. So that's taken care of and I don't forget. And let's do this. Oh boy. I'm a bit nervous. I'm not going to lie. A bit nervous. Let's see what happens here. I, I really don't think we're going to come out of this with our entire army but we'll see maybe we will maybe we will one more refresh there here we go it's do or die all right get on you Oh shit, she's right there. Get her. Wow. She did not waste any time. All right, burn her down, fairies. Burn her down. Well, so far, they're doing a number on her. I want to keep those little bastards away from- Ah, oh, shit. They already got me. I need to stay somewhat mobile here. Okay, let's do a top off on the Courage Roar. They don't like it when they get their attention on me or pull a theory away from the boss. We need that theory in there. I gotta kill some of these guys off and then we gotta refresh our courage. Okay, 
Let's do it. Roar. Good, good. All right, she's about half done. About halfway there. Let's get everybody completely topped off. And um, let's go around this way. If she does the spit, that hurts a lot. So I don't want to um, get hit by that. Oh, we lost our first soldier. Darn it. Okay. Well, I didn't think we were going to walk out of this with no losses at all. Okay, there goes the next one. She's down to about 25%. Maybe a little less. Keep going, guys. You got this. You got this. Lost another one. I'd say she's just a little under 20% now. Here goes another one down. Keep going, guys. You got this. You can do this. I have faith. We're at about maybe 10% now. Fresh the courage. Ah, man, we just lost another soldier. Ooh, this is going to be touch and go, man. This is going to be touch and go. I'll keep these little guys off of me. She's just about there. Just about there. Take her down. Take her down, guys. Take oh, yes. Whoo. Oh, man. Wow. We got one, two, three, four. We got five fairies left. All right. Let's see if we can uh, get in and here. Everybody move. Let's see if we can get in and get some of the saddles recovered. Um. Okay, we did it. Oh my goodness. That was um that was not really surprising. I I I I guess to be honest with you, I was hoping we wouldn't have taken quite that many losses. I have no idea which one of these are saddles and which one are just spider shit, so I kind of have to pick everything up here. Um I don't we're there's no way we're going to get all the saddles back, but what can you do? Let's just get as many back as we can. Oh, man, it keeps giving me all the shit stuff. I wish there was a way you could distinguish, you know. But, hey, um, we did this. Oh, man. We did this, you guys. What a deal. We have 20 seconds left. Okay, good. Another saddle there. Uh, I'm just going to drop this veggie cake. It's too heavy. The saddles are far more important. Good. We've got another saddle, and, um, yep, that's all we can get. Okay. Whew, we did it. <laughs> wow, what a, what a fight. Oh, my God. We're coming out of this with five. Uh, no, wait a minute. Did I miscount? Oh, wait, we got, we got more theories than I thought we did. We've got, um, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. We got eight. Ah, even better. Okay. So, yeah, I I was under no illusion that we were going to come out of that completely unscathed, but that that's a few more losses than I was thinking, but it is what it is. I mean, that is a hard, hard boss, and like I said earlier, depending upon who you talk to, maybe even the hardest Guardian boss um, here in Arc Ascended. So I can't complain. I can't complain. Um... Let's see. So, okay. So if we have, um, here, let me get up here. Get out, get out, get out, get out, get out. Okay. So let's see if we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay. So, uh, that means we lost 12, no 11. 
yeah, that means we lost 11 fairies and we recovered one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So we only lost four saddles, which under the circumstances, I can't complain too much about that. Whew, okay, the adrenaline, man. <laughs> it's like just going crazy right now. Ah, oh, man, I am so proud of these guys. They've just really, like I said, exceeded my expectations for an army that I was really only planning to use for gamma bosses. Um, but this army took out Alpha Megapithecus without losing anyone, right? Yeah. And got through Alpha Broodmother without wiping. So just super proud of them. Okay, well, boy. A uh, lot, lot of work, man. A lot of work and preparation went into these boss fights. And, of course, we're not done yet. We still have to do, you know, Alpha Dragon and, I don't know, I might even do Beta Dragon first. But what we have to do now, of course, is rebuild our army. And I'm going to wait until I, I get a few more mutations so the next generation army is going to be even stronger uh, than these guys are. And... Uh, we also need a tougher Uteranus. Um, 20,000 health is not enough health to survive Alpha Dragon. If, you know, if we take the same number of fire breaths that we did in the Gamma fight. So, so we got to keep working on that too and, and get a stronger UT. In fact, you know, I, I've been putting most of the points into stamina, but I don't think we need to. I think we need to put almost every single point we have into health on, on our, uh, on our next UT. So that's what I'm thinking. Uh, let's see what we got for tech stuff. Yeah, let's look at look at that. So if we go to uh, here, right? Yeah. Uh, okay, so what's new in the tech department? We got the fence foundation. We got the Mosasaur tech saddle. Um, maybe a couple of more building pieces. We already had those two. I'm not sure if we had both of those, but we got the gateways and the behemoth gate. Oh, nice. We got the boots and the helmet. Oh, very cool. Okay, we can put that stuff to use immediately. Um, so we have, the only thing we have left is the chest piece, which I don't think we get until we beat Alpha Dragon. I think the tech turd is new. We got the foundation, the pillar, and yeah, okay. So what's left is the large teleporter. I don't know what the hell that thing is. Oh, that's the moon, moon chamber where you can do underwater bases. That's the cloner. Those are the Binox, which we don't get to Overseer. This is the storage unit. Man, I was hoping we would get this by now because this is really cool. It has, my understanding is it has infinite storage and it also allows you to pull from it like S+. Plus. But it doesn't look like they're going to give that to us yet. Um, this is the force field thingy. This is the, uh, no, that's the force field thing. I think this is the transporter, which will allow us to go to boss fights right from our yard. And I think this is the large teleporter. So those are the things that we still have left for the tech stuff. All right, cool. Well, guys, um, I think the plan for the next episode is we're going to work on our um, our tech and um, display hall, um, you know, where we're going to put all of our trophies and our artifacts and stuff on display above the, the second barn. And I think that's probably what we'll do in the next episode, and then we'll start, you know, making some of this tech gear. One of the things I'm the most excited to make is the transporter. Um, the uh, transporter, teleporter, this thingy here. Yeah, teleporter. Uh, that's just going to be so nice to have because then we can just go to our sea bases. We can come out here with all of our stuff and we don't have to, you know, do the naked thing with the, the bed anymore. So that's going to be a real high priority. I'm also going to have to figure out exactly where I'm going to put the tech replicator. I'll, we'll probably put it in the tech hall because it's just very big, but it basically takes the place of everything else. Um, it, it, it takes the place of your smithy, your fabricator, and we need it to make the tech stuff anyway. So we'll see how things go. But anyway, I'm going to let you guys go here. I hope you guys enjoyed this episode, and I hope you guys are as proud of our little Gamma Theory army as I am, because they have just really, like I said, exceeded expectations here. Super proud of them. Uh, okay, guys, that's it. Thank you very much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed the episode. And if you did, please hit that like button and subscribe to the channel. Leave a comment, share out the video, and we'll catch you in the next episode. Bye-bye.